It's time for the mic drop. I and Isha are going deep on one topic affecting our community in hopes we can all learn a little more. Mercilessly beaten by officers of the law. That's what civil rights attorney Harry Daniels claims happened to his client, Jared Hobbs, while in custody at a Georgia detention center in September. And surveillance video of the incident shows us that, at least from what I'm seeing, he's right. Jared Hobbs was mercilessly, savagely beaten. I'm sure some of you have seen the video by now. For those of you who haven't, personally, I am loathe to replaying videos like this. I know what watching them can do to the mental health of the viewer, and I'm not immune to it either. But I also believe it's important that we bear witness to them, so we're going to play it once and be warned, it's disturbing. Videos released by Daniel show five officers enter the small holding cell and begin assaulting Jared Hobbs. Thrown against the wall, he's manhandled and struck repeatedly with a hailstorm of fists. He's then dragged out of the cell and thrown against a wall where he's punched, kneed, and kicked. Daniels also added, at some point in the beating, they ripped one of Hobbs' dreadlocks out of his scalp. It's a gang attack, and the brutality is breathtaking. Jail records show Hobbs, by the way, was charged afterwards with aggravated battery, simple assault, and obstruction of law enforcement officers, because of course he was. Now, the prevailing thought has always been that surveillance through the use of body cams and other recording devices will curtail the brutality, that the thought of our eyes on them would cause law enforcement officers to rethink their actions. Well, it's apparent to me that it doesn't. These men knew there was a camera and they savaged him anyway. Just as Derek Chauvin kept his knee on a dying man's neck while being filmed. No. The most we can hope for is accountability afterward. And while accountability is good, accountability is not enough. Incidents like this carried out by agents of the state whose job it is to protect and serve shouldn't be happening. And I shouldn't even have to say this. So what threat requires this level of response, this level of thuggish savagery, you ask? Well, according to the report, Hobbs was being detained on a nonviolent parole violation and was kicking the door of his cell and wouldn't stop nor comply with any other of the officer's demands. His attorney claims that he was suffering from a psychological episode and had demanded to be placed in protective custody. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation has announced that they're launching an independent and thorough investigation of the incident. And we've heard this before, the officers have been placed on leave. But what I need to know is, regardless of the investigation, how do they keep their jobs? The majority of incidents we've seen like this tells us they're going to. And until we stop being okay with it, the savagery will continue. And we'll all get to witness it at least once.